Hello, I'm Entryless here, and welcome to Let's Play Production Line, which is a game by Posdeck Games, one man production studio that produced Gratuitous Space Battles, Democracy 3, and also published games like Big Pharma. And it kind of takes a load of cues from Big Pharma in that it is a game about being a car production factory where you've got to, like, take in all the components, build a car, get it out the far end, and hopefully sell it for a nice big profit. I know, uh, Klesky, the guy at Posdeck. The only guy at Postec, he is Postec Games, um, really likes his Tesla, so I think that uh, it probably comes a bit from there. Uh, we're going to go with a small factory. 1.3 million starting cash. Don't want to go anything too expansive. We're going to put it on pause to begin with. Uh, so, this is our warehouse to begin with. You can see we've got like loads of little bits here that we can like expand to if we decide we need more room. We don't for now, because we're just starting off. We're also paying rent, so I'm glad we've got it on pause. Uh, these are like import slots. These are export slots. And by export, I mean cars go out, components go in. Now, as you go on, you can actually research more stuff. You can get extras for cars. But you can also get the ability to create, like, the components themselves in the factory, which is cheaper than importing them. So we can just import, like, steel. And then we make that into valves or whatever. Uh, for now, we're starting off. We've got no technology other than the basic stuff. So we are going to... Put a chassis assembly down. So you need a chassis assembly, then you fit the body, then you paint the body, then you fit the engine into the body, then you fit the, uh, the accessories, then you fit the electronics, then you do a quality check if you want to. It's not necessary, but it is helpful. And then you export the car. That's how it works. We're going to start off with chassis assembly. That's going to take us 25.75 seconds. Oh, yeah. And we're going to put it here. It's like the first step in the chain. Um... We're going to put a resource importer here. And then we're going to connect the resource importer with the conveyor to the little stockpile. And then if we hit play, you see we're now importing all these things it requires. And it's beginning to make ourselves a chassis. Fit front axle. And boink. Front axle. Then fit drive shaft. Boink. There we go. And in a minute it'll be like, I'm done, I've got nowhere to send it. What do I do? And I'll be like, um, let's put a conveyor belt down. There we go. And net slot not found. Oh, okay, won't send it without next slot. All right. Then we've got to make a, uh, a fit body area. Now, the fit body area actually is going to take like over a minute. Also, it costs 175 grand. Uh, but yeah, it's going to take over a minute. So this is actually going to be a bit of a bottleneck. So, for now, we'll just put you down here. Put a little bit of a gap. That way, we can expand on this later on. And then we'll connect them like so. Get the resources in. And then, you can see that this is moving along. And now, we are fitting the body. It takes a long time because look at all the little tasks. Fit in the roll cage. Fit in the UD. So many things to do. Uh, so after the fit body, you've got dry paint, and that's going to take us five seconds longer than the body. So I guess we'll just put it directly on. That will pick you up there. Uh, then we've got fit engine. That's going to take a little bit short time, but the difference is so minute that in the grand scheme of things, we'll just attach you straight up. We'll import there. Then fit accessories. Notice that fit accessories is going to take us only 27.2 seconds, so... I'm going to put a gap for that one as well. And then conveyor belt. And we could put a resource importer here, get the resources in here. But I'm going to try and save on money because resource importers are expensive. Yeah, they're 66 grand each. So we've just done the fit accessories. You notice that the car's still up here putting the body together right now. Let's do fit electronics. Which is going to take us four seconds, so barely any time whatsoever. Quality check, which I can't directly connect there. Quality check's actually optional, but we'll have one, because why not? And then we need export. So, if we put conveyors in. And I think that's it. Let's actually watch the car. So yeah, we've got one currently here. Paint finish, dry finish. Drying takes a long time. There we go. Let's add all the accessories. Oh, this is the engine. Yeah, I was going to say, like, 
Valves aren't accessories. Hmm, tires aren't accessories. Fitting the brakes, fitting the steering column, fitting the steering wheel. There we go, now accessory time. Lights, horn, seats, windscreen, electronics, into Q&A, and... Export are going to take their 10 seconds with it. Aha! So this is our new car design. We're going to call you the iCar. And now, it, the fair price is, I think, that's the price that we, like, use to make it. Like, it costs us 16 grand to make this car. I think that's what fair price means. Um, ooh, QA. Yeah, so QA is extra, so that's going to cost us a bit on top. I'm going to say we're going to try and put like a massive premium on this car and then we can always reduce it like if it doesn't work. I'm going to go for 60% because I think from experience that that will work nicely. I mean, can't get the exact number which really bugs me. Just I'm OCD or whatever. Just deal with it. I, maybe we'll just try for 26. That's close enough. That's 26k. Okay, so the I car, And I think it sold. It did. It sold straight away. It's actually out of stock. Huh. Awesome. Let's speed up time some more. Okay. Come on. Get done with the engine. Oh, that's, sorry. That's not engine. That's accessories. And then through here. Export. There we go. One in the shirt. And it sold immediately. Again. You could increase the price a little bit. Now, normally, from my experience, you don't get much if you increase it past here, but why not? Let's go for like 75. And one. It's in the showroom. It's in the showroom. It's in the showroom. It is not selling. No, I've gone a little bit high on this one. We'll see. If they start to pile up, we'll know. Now, that's your basic sort of through flow. We're making cars, etc. Insufficient resources here. That's annoying. We'll deal with that in time. But the main problem right now is that we're making the chassis really, really quickly. But we aren't actually. I think we just sold one. Yeah, we did. Because we got an extra one in as we sold it. We're making the, sh the uh, what was this called? The chassis really, really quick. But we're not making the body, the paint, and the... Is this engine? Yeah, this is the engine. Very quickly at all. So we could speed this up. So if we do another fit body... Paint engine and then we put them so that they join in over here. We need to put a resource conveyor to get the resources in. There we go. Now, I don't know if this resource importer can actually keep up with the pace. Notice that we are getting like insufficient stock popping up occasionally. But we've now got chassis being sent both ways. We've actually got one up here that's just been sent into painting. And in theory, we should have basically doubled our output. And only doubled like half of the production chain. So for an extra like 50% cost, we're probably going to get double the output, which is double the income. In theory. Let's watch this join the uh, rest of them. Come on. There we go. There we go. Working quite nicely, I think. And how's our money doing? We click our money. Yeah. Expenses, mostly component purchases right now. Rent, power is pretty high. Yeah, we're using quite a lot of power. Raw materials, wages, okay. Prices. Okay, so profit's starting to tick up a little bit. Now, one thing we could do is we can start research while that goes on. So, let's build ourselves some research offices. I'm going to not build many for now because I'm a bit aware that our cash is not 
amazing. And uh, if you hit zero, there is... Right now, this game is very early alpha. There is no way to avoid dying. Like, you don't die necessarily. I think you just stop being an entrepreneur and have to get, like, a job somewhere. Like, working in retail. Which is, you know, as everyone in retail knows, the devil. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll grab, like, some research offices and just try and avoid going bust. So I'm going to put one here. One here. One here, and I think I could put one more down. Yeah. Okay, no research. Well, let's solve that. Let's start with power production. Because right now we're spending a lot of our money on power. If we could produce it on site, that'd be even better. Hmm, insufficient resources. Now, we could try and solve this by having an extra importer. If this importer is getting flooded. Or we could put a stockpile in halfway through to, like, try and cut down the burden. What are your home problems? Like, tires, brakes. As far as I can tell, it's basically everything you want in this stockpile, other than valves right now. Hmm. Okay, so we could actually get a supply stockpile. They cost 10 grand. And if we put it here, and then we get a resource conveyor. And if we then click on it, add item, break. What else? Tire. Starter motor. Valve. Flywheel. Starter motor, valve, flywheel. There was something else there. Well, wasn't there? Radiator. Exhaust. Mostly tires and brakes. So let's make the stockpile have like 12 of those and 8 brakes. And in theory, this stockpile should ask for them. It's got 6x6, six six, so it can take 36 items. You're not asking for them? There we go. You can see it's starting to get them in now. Bit by bit. It might well be that this is overloaded already. No, there's some gaps. Oh, and I think something just... Yeah, there we go. Things coming out of here to supply over here. Okay, excellent. That does actually seem to be working. Got to keep an eye out to see if we get something that's in demand that we don't actually have. Ooh, there we go. Power production. Right, let's do next one. Um, let's go improve efficiency for now, because that leads us to faster resources, power plant efficiency, faster resource importing. It's kind of base generic one. And then we can make power plants, which cost 5.2 grand, which is actually incredibly cheap. That's just crazy cheap. And then we'll just keep building them. As you notice up here, we're actually making a lot more power now. Because, you know, we weren't making any before. And we should almost be completely power independent. One more. There we go. And from now on, all we've got to do is pay the wages. Power plant, how many people? Four employees. Okay, that's fine. And then, if we just let it run for a little while... Ooh, we've got three cars in sales that haven't been sold. Might just start thinking about the price. Notice power's going down. That will be eliminated entirely. There we go, it got eliminated entirely. So, if we look at power... Do, 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 do. We spent 120k on it in the last 24 hours. But now it's nothing. So that's going to save us a lot of money. In fact, our money's gone up like loads. While we're looking at the graph, it's kind of 100k. So we're doing pretty well for ourselves. Oh, you're having resource issues. Roll cages. Really? 
Okay. Proved efficiency. Sweet. Uh, let's get faster resources. Faster resource imports. There we go. Just speed that up a little bit. Right now, we're kind of running at a rate of, what, like two cars a minute? It'll be a touch more than that, so it'll be about a car every 35 seconds. And that's been bottlenecked by probably these, like the drying, because drying is, what, 68? Yeah, 68 seconds. So we're looking at about 34.4 seconds a car. And that's assuming that, you know, there's no holdups while in painting. Hold ups elsewhere, unless they hold up for a lot longer than painting, aren't going to be an issue. Like fitting the engine has like another 13 seconds on it. The body has. The body's got five seconds. So if the body goes over a little bit, then it'll be impacting the uh, speed at which we get the car through. But because the production line really only runs at the rate of like the slowest link, it's really all about optimizing these slow links. So for now, it's painting that's the issue, and money is doing pretty good. I am pleased about that. Come on, research. How are we doing? You know, let's get a few more research offices. I mean, I should be saving my money right now. But at the same time... There we go. How's our research now? 2.25 points per second with 9 research laps. Each one gives 0.25 points. Get them cars out there on the shop floor. Very nice. I mean, they are regularly selling. We'll probably have to decrease the price eventually, but for now, they're selling enough. Ooh, we're up to four in stock. And down to three again. Okay. Oh, two. Even better. There we go. Fast. Notice that they're going like nice appreciable speed now. So let's start thinking about breaking everything down into separate sections. So, for instance, although right now we're doing the body building all together in one place, you can actually break that down. So let's start with, yeah, body specialization. That won't take long because it's only 400.1. So notice that if I open this up, you've got like fit body frame, fit roof, fit doors. You can actually have three different locations. In fact, you can, I think, specialize in these as well. And if like multiple different locations. So instead of doing all of this in a 63 second trial, you could be like, instead, I can have multiple cars, one at each stage of, you know, you do the body, then send it on to the person who does the doors, and send it to the person, to the person who does the roof or whatever. Actually, I've always round for those ones, but you get the idea. Whereas right now, we're waiting for one car to be fully finished. With this, and actually having a proper production line, we can just go at the slow speed of the body, or the doors, or the roof, rather than having to wait for the entire thing to be done. And you can break them down further. Similar of painting, engine, and accessories. We are doing pretty fast right now. Uh, we can also do stuff like manufacturing the door panels so we don't have to import them. That way they'll be cheaper. Same with the roof, etc. Uh, we'll do... I think paint specialization, that's pretty slow. And while we research all of that, I think this is probably a good place to end this episode. Because it's going to take us a while to research all the things to be able to do our next production line. And then I think we'll try doing something with a more complicated, loads of different stages, etc. We're going to need more money for that. Maybe I'll just let time pass a little bit between episodes. But uh, for now, I've been Andrew If you have enjoyed, like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. Feel free to comment down below, especially let me know what you think about this game, this series. Since it is a new game to the channel, it is very early alpha. I'd be definitely interested in hearing what people have to say. But until next time, stay shiny.